Hey guys and welcome back to yet again another video. So today I'm going to be making a new guide, a new beginner guide for Teemo Top. I did already make a few guides for Teemo in the past, but today we're actually going to make a new one. Uh, for the runes, I would recommend going for Press the Attack with Triumph with Alacrity and Last Stand. Also taking the Overgrowth with Bone Plating. Extremely OP rune setup, guys. For the full build, I'm going to leave the entire full build inside the description. And as for the skill order, I recommend maxing E, then Q, then W as last. Now, for the summoner spells, I would recommend going Ignite in most of your games. If you're having like a really rough time in a certain matchup or like a certain game, you can also go for TP to be more on the safe side. But Ignite with Teemo is like one of the uh, greatest things to do. Now, depending on what you're going to be playing against, you might want to start off with Q first at level 1. Uh, usually, I would recommend starting off with E, but Trinimir is actually one of those kind of matchups where you just want to have your uh, Q at level 1. Okay. We can actually find him right here. So, what you want to mainly focus on in the early game with Teemo is trying to pressure, trying to pressure as much as you can. Now, of course, it does really depend on what you're up against. He's going to try to go for the cheese here. I got him. Uh, let's see where it's going to go. Okay. The thing is, like, Trinimir is a kind of matchup where... Um, Trinimir basically counters Teemo in a very hard way. Ultimately. Um, but it does really depend, though, on the way how Trinimir is playing. Because... If the tournament player is smart, he would wait out just a little bit so he could eventually all in me with um, like the full on build. But like in the early game, we can basically counter Trimir very easily. Like if he tries to engage on us, we can literally pop uh, like time the the Q, and then we can uh, fight him right after that. Okay, very good. So one thing, which personally, I don't ever do. But this is like one of those matchups where we just have to. We have no choice here. Uh, let me quickly get this. Also grab this and control art. Usually what I would recommend doing in most games, pretty much 99% of all games, I would recommend maxing out E first. However, this game is going to be different. I'm actually going to put a few points into my Q because... If we put a few points into the queue, we're also changing the duration of how long this queue is going to last for. And specifically in this matchup where we're actually playing as a champion that's doing like auto attack, uh, who's like auto attacking quite a lot. Maxing Q, making the duration a lot longer is actually way more useful than actually doing E. So that's kind of why. It's very important to have your Q being maxed out as soon as possible against Trinimir. Just so that his auto attacks and everything doesn't apply. Okay. Now every single time that your opponent is going to go for CS, you want to try to poke them with one of your auto attacks. As soon as they try to engage, you can use your Q to stop them from trying to fight you. So Trinimir can only do damage with his upcoming E. As soon as he tries to Q into us, or he tries to auto attack us, I mean, it's very hard for him to do something because we're maxing our Q right now, which is basically the ultimate counter of Trinomir. Nice. So ultimately, right now, he can't fight us for as long as we have the Q being maxed out. That's great. Oh, I don't want to miss out the one. Perfect. I'll just simply wait for level 6, just keep on farming up like this. Oh, I actually missed out that one. Oh, I missed out that one too. I don't want to be missing out the farm when trying to poke Trinomir. That's like the most important thing. He's not able to farm properly, that's great. Okay. I'm just going to slow push this out all the way. Oh, I'm actually missing like four CS at the same time. That's unbelievable. Pantene is currently mid lane. That's really good to know. I'm just going to try to see if I can maybe uh, get like a couple of attacks into this guy. 
don't want to be missing out on this. I'll just smack you. Alright, perfect. Let's get this entire thing reset. Okay, I just want to get one single plating and then we're going to go back right after. Nice. Now we're going to be going back to base. So, right now, I'm simply trying to focus on basically slow building up the wave a little bit so I can eventually push that inside the turret so I can get the plating and at the same time go back to base so I can afford the next tier boots now something that I would recommend to anybody is starting off your items with the maxed out tier boots and the reason for that's quite simple the sooner you get your boots the easier you can reposition yourself. It's very, very important to get this item as quickly as you can. Okay. So right now, all we have to do is simply either freeze up the wave like we do right now. Deny him as much farm as possible and eventually like um, pushing his entire lane inside of him, uh, into his tower. I did actually miss a couple, uh, couple CS, which I'm not very happy with personally. Okay, good. I've been missing a little bit farm, which I'm not happy with. Okay, we've got three points into my Q right now. I'm just going to get the next point into my E right now. I'm trying to put a few points into my uh, into my E. Oh, I've accidentally queued the creep. Wow, this could have been a kill right here. That's going to be the ultimate. He actually, did he already use the ultimate? Huh? That's kind of strange. Did I just, did he use his ultimate without me seeing it? I don't know. Either way, we got the kill right now. Even if he uses ultimate, he would not have it right now. We could kill him on our tower then. Either way, he's going to be losing quite a lot. Nice. The Q duration is already like very long right now. That's great. I want to put a few points into my E right now so I can do more damage with my autos. You got to be really careful with Pantheon right now as Pantheon is currently missing. Nice. I have to be really careful right now. Or I mean, not Pantheon, I mean Vi. Let's get another one. Okay, great. I'm going to push out the next wave, and then we're going to go back right after. Nice. Just using my ultimate just to push out the lane a little bit faster. We can now go back to base. We can afford the next item, which will be... Um, let me check up here. It's going to be lifesteal with another longsword. Nice, perfect. Now we should be able to get back to the lane before he gets to push out the lane into my turret. So that's not going to be an issue. I'll use my W just to be a little faster. He might, yeah, he's going to get at least one plating, but that's fine. Training plating just to get my item. That's great. Okay. So now we're going to have to take a really good look. At where Vi is going to come from. I don't know what he's trying to do. Okay. It's going to be worth it if I can trade it. Okay. So basically they're trying to dive me under tower. And I'm getting one kill and the other, like, we're getting two kills together and they are only getting me, which is totally worth it for me. I don't know what they were trying to do right there, but this is actually fine for me. This is perfect. So now this is even getting better because right now we have this item and this item is going to allow us to completely kite the Trinimir down. It's going to make things a lot easier. Let's go back to lane right now. 
Now it's going to get really, really easy for us. This is the moment where we can kind him down the entire time. And every time he tries to engage in us, we can just queue. It's going to be very, very good for us. He's got some crits, it seems. I also have my life seal right now, so I can just life seal myself back the entire time. I want to put a few shrooms in here as well, just so I can use that to kind of later. Every single time he goes for creeps, we can easily auto attack him all the way as much as we want to. Nice. All right, just a matter of pushing in right now. That's all. That's not auto. Make sure though, if you're like trying to poke them on our tower, make sure that you don't actually take the uh, the, the the tower aggro from auto attacking it with the poison. It's something that many people always forget. Pushing in is very easy right now. There we go. Put the max, go the max E here. And we just have to deny this guy as much from as possible. Also, the Jonah's bottom. Thank you. As you guys can see, despite Trinity having such an amazing all-in against Teemo, yes, by playing very smart, this is still a very, a relatively a very easy matchup. So now we just gotta push this in right now, get a few more plantings. Perfect. I want to get at least one plating. We're gonna push to the next wave, then we're gonna go back to base immediately right after that. Even like wave clearing is super easy to do on Teemo. Okay, we've got the first item. This is gonna make this is gonna change everything this game. Nice. Also get like a red trinket. I always recommend getting a red trinket on Teemo because if you're like split pushing and you need to have like you need to have the complete control of the division. If you get like a control ward with a red trinket, you can both get the vision and remove all the vision from the enemy team at the same time. It's a pretty uh, OP way to split push. Alright, I'm just gonna push at the next wave right now. Nice. Oh, whoops. Uh, let's take a look here if he actually plays there anymore. I don't think he did. Nah, he didn't. Okay. I think he's probably roaming right now, which is fine. Oh, I missed that one. We've got the pressure mid right now. Okay. We just have to stay out of uh, tower range, that's all. Nice. We can life steal this back up, so that's not an issue. That's why I'm not so worried about getting hit by the tower. Okay. Now we're gonna get him down. Uh, let's see here. I could be able to get her. Ah, oh, if my shroom actually hit the jungler right here, I would have actually had the jungle kill. I at least expected to get one kill if I were to get ganked. But this is... This is decent. To be honest, I didn't quite expect Vi to be here at this moment. I actually thought that Vi was going to be somewhere around here as far as everything had gone. But actually, I was kind of miscalculating that. Kind of my fault. Okay. So the next item that I would recommend getting at some point in the game would be the Wits End. The Wits End is a very... Very good item on Teemo. Uh, let me just quickly sell that. I don't need that anymore. Wits End is especially good when the enemy team has got like a lot of AP champions. In this case, they only have the Trinity who is like kind of like AP damage, but, but that's all like he's mainly like full AD. But they also have like a 
uh, this champion here who does like a massive amount of AP damage. So this is actually still a really good item to get eventually at some point. Let's cut him down a little bit. We're going to repeat the same thing all over. Nice. Uh, let's see if he's going to be here. Nah, he's not going to be here. He's just going to go back. All right. I'm going to push down the next wave. I'll get the, I'll force the tower here as well. And then I'm going to focus on consistently pressuring over and over. That's going to be the goal. Constantly split pushing over and over. Until we get what we want here. Vi is currently bottom, so he's not here. Okay, we can now force the tower. Nice. Let's go. Let's count him down with the uh, mushrooms. And we got him. Nice. Perfect. This is pretty much how you play Riven again. Uh, I mean, this is pretty much how you play Teemo against Trinity, guys. Also, in general, this is like the kind of play style that you want to have when playing Teemo. Okay, let's put a few shrooms down here as well. We just want to plan up the entire lane right now with shrooms. So, this is going to allow us to push in very easily, be, being able to split very easily. Nice, I'll get this camp here too. Nice. We just want to, like, keep on pushing top lane and keep on taking as many camps as we can. That's our main goal. That's that's what we want to achieve here, so we can keep on snowballing through farming the entire time. While taking this too. Oh, this one's going to get reset. Actually, I would like to get the scan, but I think Fi is going to be here. Okay, we still got it. Perfect. I'm going to go back top lane, taking every single, uh, every single piece of. CS that I can find, and then uh, we will quickly reset right after that. I'm not going to allow the Trinimir to do anything. There's currently, these guys are like fighting the dragon right now, but Trinimir is not there either, so that's fine. That's perfect. Trinimir, I think he's like roaming to the dragon right now. Honestly, I don't mind. I don't mind at all, actually. Doing like an insane amount of damage right there. Okay, now we can reset and get my next item. Perfect. We will, uh, we will get the wit's end right now. This is going to make a huge difference in this game. Okay, so right now, we have the core build. Our next item is going to be the Zhonyas, and the Zhonyas will give us more armor, more damage overall, and more survivability. Extremely OP item to, uh, to get on Teemo, honestly. It's going to help us so much. Like, pushing right now is super easy to do it because we got lifesteal and we have like a bunch of uh, damage from autos. I'm just gonna get this wave here and then rotate back top. This guy's n no problem for me. Uh, these guys actually came from behind me. Actually, Vi came from here and Trinomir came from here. But what I find the most interesting is the fact that Bai is actually coming from this side. Assuming that Lee Sin was here the entire time, he was just like walking all around, and my bot lane had the pressure. Vi actually came from here. Huh. That's quite interesting to be honest. But we still got a kill freight in return, so it's not a problem. It's decent. Okay. Now we're just going to be building the Zanias. It's going to help us like so much this game. We're going to go bottom now. I will be farming out everything. The dragon is currently down. It's three minutes. 
Uh, Vayne is actually going to go back bot lane, so I'm just going to let that go. I'm going to go back top and farm out everything since my team is already bot lane, so... Okay, that lane is going to get pushed in towards me. So just quickly take everything I can right here. Alright, perfect. I'm assuming Trinomir is not going to be here. Assuming not. I'll be getting my level 15 very, very soon. Let's push this all the way in. Just going to do the same thing on repeat right now. That's going to crash into the tower right here. I'm just going to take this camp here as well so we have some more vision around the map. Turning me back, pushing top side. I'll just take this, taking this camp too. They're actually fighting there right now. Okay, turning me top side now. He's level 13, we're level 15. Thank you. That's another free kill on this guy. Now we're gonna keep on pushing. We wanna keep getting the pressure. We wanna keep pressuring as much as we can here for the team. Uh, hopefully they actually have the red buff here. No, they actually don't have the red buff. It would have been very good if they actually had it. Okay, we can catch this guy at least. I've got my item back, so I can just walk right after him. Thank you. They're all free for me. Okay. I can get my next item very soon. I'm already level 16. I like the I like the fact that we can throw our shroom so far right now. I'll just be getting ditched out too. They're still dead, so. Uh, I'll help him out. Thank you. Okay, let's go back to base right now. We have to get my next item, which will be the Zanias. Very good. And then the, the next item right after that's going to be a Lyandris, which will fit to the build as well. Now we're like super tanky. Nobody can really uh, fight us at this point. Trinomir can't even fight us never ever again. Like, we got the Zonis now, so we're more tanky. I don't know what he's doing right now. He actually took that camp, surprisingly. We've got a massive lead over, over uh, Trinomir. They're fighting? I'm gonna see what I can do here. They're gonna be no problem for me. I like the fact that I can throw my shrooms like that far right now. Couldn't do that before. Thank you for that ward. The fact, like, even if they try to jump on me, I still have my Zhonyas. They have to go through my Zhonyas first. My mid laner is coming here. Mm, maybe my poison gets him eventually. I still have my item in here. And I can life to everything up as well, so. 
us. We could even push towards the um, towards this tower right now. We could even get the inhib. Should be able to at least. Nice. He still didn't have his ultimate. They can't stop me. As you guys can see, I can literally just walk them over with my auto attacks. Okay, I would like to get a few more camps before I make my way back. Because I need just a little bit more. This is how much I need right now. We're getting this one too. Uh, let's see, we have this item, and then we have this item. So we need like 500 more gold right now. Nice. Dragon is spawning in about two minutes, so I don't know what they're doing there. Okay, we just need a bit more. As soon as we get that item, it's pretty much game, because we're super strong afterwards. Perfect. Okay. We're level 18 right now. We're basically five levels ahead of the enemy opponents. Actually, of the enemy AD carry. That's how far ahead we are. We are too far ahead of the enemy opponents currently. We have to take the opportunity we have right now to try and finish the game. Nice. We literally got uh, got 10 CS per minute with about 10 kills. They're doing the Baron currently. Trinity doesn't even know that, so that does mean that they have no arts. Okay, let's take the opportunity we have right here. We got this guy. Oh, I accidentally pressed my Zhonyas. Uh, whoops. I wasn't meant to do that, but... Alright, fine. I was not meant to do that. Okay, let's push mid right now. We have to wait for my teammates to come back. It's all about grouping up right now and taking the next dragon. Thank you. I can life steal myself back up. Ooh, he's actually way faster than me. I think he's playing with mobility boots. Yes, he's actually playing with mobility boots. Okay, I did not expect this guy to be playing with mobility boots. That's actually the reason why he got me right now. He's walking a lot faster than me. Huh, kind of unfortunate. Since I was actually worth quite a bit of gold, so... That's not very nice. Okay. So, the last item is kind of very situational. You either want to be building a Void Staff... Or you want to be building a Rebidon. It's either one of the two. It kind of depends on what you're playing against. If the enemy team has got like a bunch of AP. Or if the enemy team has got like a bunch of magic resist. Just go for Void Staff. If they have like... If you have like... If they have like no magic resist at all. Just go for uh, Rebidon. It's way better than... Here we go, turn me his bottom, I'll just quickly get the skill. He shouldn't be a problem for us. Let's see. We're a lot faster than him. Well not if he's gonna use it because then not maybe. Okay. My teams are my teammates are making this like very difficult because I'm level 18 and we haven't grouped up so far yet. In. 
Okay. He's, he's walking directly into the direction of my mid laner. Nice. We got two kills. We could do the Baron right now. Okay, the wave is coming in right now. They're about dead for about 35 seconds. We could be doing a Baron at this point. It would have been better. But if we can push mid too, that's fine. Okay, nice. We haven't got anything so far yet. These guys are trying to push mid lane, that's fine too, to be honest. But it, it would have still been a lot better if we actually had the Baron. Would have been a lot better. Ooh, he's going for me. They actually fell for the bait there. Surprisingly. But we haven't got anything out of this. And we have a tournament right behind me. They're making this game pretty difficult. Alright, I just need to get my next blue buff or something like that. If I maybe if I get my uh, item complete, it would be a lot better too. I don't know what they're doing to be honest. Turning me is getting his items right now. Okay, I can get my item in about three hundred gold. We just need to have one more wave and that's it. Most scary thing about this game is the fact that they have like a scaling team comp. Okay. Like we have a scaling team comp too, but our uh, our team comp is not as great as uh is not as great. As theirs, at least. Because they have like a Kokuma. Well, we have like a Vayne too, but... Then again, we have like a Lee Sin Jungle. Who isn't really that good. Okay, let's go mid. We're going to try to push right now. The next dragon will spawn in 20 and we need to get the dragon. Oh, not looking very good. Got him. Okay, the dragon is ours. Thank you. Thank you very much. So we have the dragon, so now we're actually. Now we're basically got the max damage with all the Inverno Dragons. That's very good. Vayne is actually losing to a Trindomir. Hmm. That's uh, quite interesting, to be honest. Alright, thank you. Just gotta get my mana back right now. We want to be split pushing the entire time right now since my teammates are doing like really bad. He's not able to find me properly. This game is definitely a lot harder than it should be. Let's 
Right. We're gonna have to go back to base once more just to get my next potion. Now we're literally at full build. We have level 18 for a while now. And we also have three Inverno Dragons. If we don't group up right now to either take your Baron or, or the tower upcoming one. Then there is hardly any more I can do. We can just start right away. Perfect. Okay, this should be GG right now because we get like two kills. Nice. Finish. Awesome. This is going to be the game right here. He's going to go back to base anyways. He's trying to defend this. That's fine. Okay. Anyways, this is pretty much how you play Teemo top lane, also up against the Trinomir. You can find the entire full but inside the description, guys. Anyways, thank you for watching today. I'll catch you guys up in the next upcoming episode. Peace.